Okay, we are going to try a triptych, uh, which is three canvases poured together to kind of make a single piece. We'll see how successful we are. Um, I've tried this a couple times and it's had mixed results, so you're going to come along with me for the experiment. Um, this is sap green with some um, golden green interference in it. Where's that? Did I add gold? I think I had gold interference to this. It's a little closer. Nice bright springy green. And I've got three 11 by 14 canvases. So I've just got some leftover paint in this cup. I'm using leftovers again. Because it's been kind of fun to uh, experiment with the different colors of leftover paint from other pores and to see how they function and how they how they come together and what you get. It's a little bit of a I don't know, can you call that a grab bag? It's fun either way. So I will add white on top of this green. I'm just adding the green for a little bit of variability. I've, I found that I like adding a little bit of color to the background because it adds a nice touch. So I have a giant cup of, this is a 16 ounce cup, leftover paint. Um, lots of different colors in here. Some blues, coppers, red brown, a light sandy color. I think there's some greens in here um, and a periwinkle. So we are going to see what we get. I don't want to do this. We're going to take our heat gun and we're going to just lightly kind of look at the reflection 
if you're, if you're new to doing this, look in the reflection from the lights on top of your paint and you can kind of see where the little bubbles are that are in your paint. And so you just want to take um, your heat tool or a torch and go over it really lightly. You don't need much heat at all. And the last thing you want to do is cook the surface of your paint um, and make it harden and ripple because then you get a really kind of gross looking texture. Um, so that's something to kind of be aware of and that's part of the reason I don't use a torch is because it just, for me, it gives too much heat. So I've overcooked my paint using my heat gun. Um, so. Okay, so here is the triptych all dry. It is not varnished yet. Um, it's got a couple weeks before I can varnish it, but um, I wanted to hop on and show you what it looked like dried and kind of show you how how the paint can move on its own, do what it wants. Um, unpredictability kind of thing. So here they are. And you can see in this one, all of the light pale blue that popped up through the darker and I love these little restrictions in your focus there you go. so you can see that bright, that bright green that we had in the background kind of pop up there a little sliver of jade and then the blue cells that popped up through the dark and you still have wisps of green over here. A little bit right in there. And so one of my favorite things about um, this technique is that you just get so much unpredictability in it. So you can see these teeny tiny cells have like a green center to them. This one we have some copper popping through, a darker blue popping through that sandy tone, a little bit of that green up there. And I think this one is probably my favorite out of the three. Just because I love the contrast between that deep Prussian blue the red brown and the copper and you've got just a hint of the you can't even see it there just a hint of that spring green you have right here through the white and then your cells I love this layering that it does here and some some people don't really care for the misshapen cells that can happen um, I don't mind it. I kind of think it adds to the variability, adds to the textures in the paint. Like I love this part here. It kind of just stretches over itself and moves out once. Um, really pretty. I love the reflection. Those pearlized metallic paints give it. So yeah, that's the triptych all dry. And I, I really like how even though you pour the paint, you tilt it, it moves, um, you can still see how it goes together. So when you have it up on the wall, um, even if you put them, you know, a little bit of space apart, you can still see they go together. So I, I really like that. I think that's really cool. So let me know if you've done triptychs, um, if you like the idea, or if they're just something that you have a lot of trouble with. Because, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I've tried this a few times. 
um, and I've gotten some mixed results. So this one I really like. You can still see how it goes together. Where other ones I've had, um, and it makes sense, you, you tilt the paint and you change it so that it doesn't really go together anymore. Um, you can make it go because the colors still go, but, but you can't see the flow of the paint. Whereas this one you can still see that flow going through. So yeah. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I appreciate your time and I appreciate your um, encouraging thoughts and words and stuff in the comments. So um, keep it coming. Keep any negativity to yourself and we will all have a good day. Thanks guys. Have a good time. Bye bye.